Ladies and gentlemen, if you need a wide receiver to start in fantasy football in week 15, I got you covered. We're about to go over a bunch in this video. If you guys are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and also dropping a thumbs up on the video. It really helps me out. First person up on this list is going to be Garrett Wilson going up against the Detroit Lions, who are ranked 30th against wide receivers this year. Listen, it's pretty self-explanatory. As long as Mike White plays in this game, Garrett Wilson has been consistent over the last three weeks. 26.4, 24.2, and then this past week, which was rough because Mike White was just banged up after every other play, it seemed like, 13.8. So that's obviously a little bit of a down week for Garrett Wilson. But we have seen Wilson be... Way more inconsistent than that in the past when he had Zach Wilson as his quarterback and Joe Flacco, I believe, played one or two weeks. But as long as Mike White plays, like I said, this Detroit Lions pass defense is not good. He should get a lot of looks and a lot of fantasy points for you. Next up on this list, we have Keenan Allen and Mike Williams. I'm also going to throw on here coming off a good game in his injury return last week. They're going up against the worst passing defense in the league in Tennessee. So if that right there doesn't give you enough confidence to start both of them, I don't know what does, but they're also pretty good against the run. So Austin Eckler should get contained. Doesn't mean Eckler's not going to get 9, 10 catches out of the backfield because obviously that could happen any week and we've seen it happen a lot in the past, but if they can't run the ball on the ground, obviously the ball is going to be in the air more, which gives opportunities for Keenan Allen and Mike Williams both to pop off in this matchup. Next up, we have Jerry Judy going up against the Arizona Cardinals, ranked 14th currently against wide receivers this season. I'm not worried about Judy so much as I'm worried about Cortland Sutton. All right, Judy played one game without Cortland Sutton, ended up with three touchdowns. Now, obviously, that's not going to happen every single week, but I think it's pretty clear that Jerry Judy is the number one wide receiver here in Denver. Portland Sutton, even without playing with Judy, like when Judy's injured and not even on the field, still can't produce as good of numbers as Jerry Judy had last week. Could have been a fluke game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, but I'd feel pretty confident about starting Jerry Judy. I think they keep getting their best player of the ball in this matchup. Next up here, we have Donovan Peoples-Jones going up against the Baltimore Ravens who are ranked 26 currently against opposing wide receivers. Donovan Peoples-Jones has had better chemistry with Deshaun Watson over the last two weeks than Watson and Amari Cooper have had, which is a little bit concerning for Cooper owners, but... For Donovan Peoples-Jones owners, you got to be very happy with what you're seeing. I think this could be a close game. I don't know how, you know, loose Nick Chubb could get in this matchup. So if he gets contained, expect a lot of passing and a lot of passes going Donovan Peoples-Jones' way. Next up on this list, we have Chris Alave going up against the Atlanta Falcons, who are currently ranking 28th against opposing wide receivers. I mean, Andy Dalton loves to target Chris Alave deep down the field. I expect him to hopefully get in the end zone in this one score around 15 20 fantasy points for you and have a little bit of a bounce back game i mean last week what did he end up having 10.5 against the tampa bay buccaneers and then the week before that 11.2 against the san francisco 49ers both of those were tough matchups i expect a lot better of a game here against a little bit more lenient atlanta defense Next up here, we have Brandon Ayuk going up against the Seattle Seahawks, who have a pretty tough defense against wide receivers. They're currently ranking sixth, but that shouldn't matter because Ayuk should be the number one wide receiver with Debo Samuel out. Obviously, you got Christian McCaffrey that's going to be taking a lot of targets away from Ayuk, but it's got to be spread between the two of them. Ayuk should thrive in this environment. We saw earlier on in the season when Debo was injured, Ayuk was stepping up big time, scoring around 15, 20 fantasy points in a couple of those games. I expect more of the same here. Like I said, even though it's not the best matchup in the world, I'm still pretty confident that Ayuk gets, you know, around 10 targets in this game. Next up here, we have Chris Godwin going up against the Cincinnati Bengals, currently ranking fifth against wide receivers. I'm not sure that that matters at this point. Godwin is so dependent on around the line of scrimmage catches that he's going to catch a ton of screen passes, a ton of, a ton of short passes, and he loves getting a ton of volume from Tom Brady. Expect around 10 to 15 targets in this matchup for Chris Godwin, and he should score you a good amount of fantasy points in this game, especially if Brady cannot get that deep ball working like he hasn't been able to in the past couple of games. Godwin should thrive. Last but not least here, I want to throw this one in just in case. I'm not completely confident in this one because this game could end up being a blowout and it's the Dallas Cowboys, CeeDee Lamb, going up against the Jacksonville Jaguars who are ranked 22nd against wide receivers right now. 
if the Dallas Cowboys get out super early in this matchup, they might run the ball down the Jags' throats, which we do not want. But if this is a closer game, obviously a great bounce back opportunity for CeeDee Lamb in this one. If you guys learned any information in this video, please drop a thumbs up, of course, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will catch you in the next one and good luck in your week 15 matchups. Peace.